This is a small training video on how to unblock trap tubing in the pinch valves and then perform a wash test from tank A and tank B to verify that the washer is performing as it should be. So firstly we need to remove the machine tip waste tank, the machine liquid waste tank and the two dispense bottles. So, to remove any trappages in the tubing, slide each tube out one at a time, open the tubing up using two fingers, and then slide the tubing back into the pinch valve, making sure it's fully inserted into the pinch valve. And then repeat the process for the next tube. And so on until you've completed all four. Once you've completed all four, just tidy the tubing up so there's no kinks or traps, and that's it. So once you've completed the tubing, we will load the machine dispense tank bottles back on. The machine waste tank, liquid waste tank, and the tip waste tank. Close the silver tray and turn the power on to the machine. So once you've powered the machine up, we will double click on the DS Matrix software icon and we will connect to the machine in normal mode and allow the machine to run a daily self-test. Once the self-test is completed, click on the red cross to close the printout and the, uh, the self-test will finalize. And now I'm going to run a wash test from tank A and to program the plate up, click on File, Worklist Editor, tell the machine that they are new samples. I'm going to run a full plate of 96 samples. So select 96 wells, and I'm just going to use a pattern starting with the first sample number being number one and I'm going to click on the assign button and it will just assign sample numbers 1 through to 96 and then select the next button so I have now programmed 96 tubes and I'm going to select from my assay list on the right hand side the wash test tank A option and click add assay and then click on the done button and the machine software will build me a timeline I'm going to accept this timeline and click on the skip the fast forward button and the machine is now asking me to load my consumables onto the machine I don't need to load any sample tubes, this is the default question, just click on the tick the machine is now asking me to load a wash plate into the lower plate carrier and assign a plate identifier name and I'm just going to call this plate wash test tank A and click on the tick once I've loaded the plate the machine is now asking me to load dispense tank A with a distilled water click on the tick once this has been loaded 
and the machine is now asking me to load the clean line bottle with distilled water on the rear of the machine. Again, click on the tick once this has been loaded. Lastly, the machine is asking me to empty the liquid waste tank and the tip waste tank and click the tick once this has been completed. So, the machine is ready to perform the wash test from tank A. Just click on the skip button and the machine will perform the wash. Firstly, the machine will prime the wash buffer through the system so there's no air in the tubing. And now you can visually inspect that the wash head is filling all of the wells with the wash buffer. Once the wash head has completed the whole plate, it will then repeat the process aspirating all the wells of the liquid. Once the wash has been complete, the wash head will park and deionized water will be flushed through the system. And this is the wash complete. So I now want to repeat the process for tank B and the process is exactly the same except for on the work list editor screen here I'm now going to select from my assay list on the right hand side the wash test tank B option. Select the assay, again click add assay and once this has been completed click done. And the machine will now perform a wash test from tank B 